What's up all? We're about to replace the high pressure fuel pump on this 2008 335i. If you have coals like these and your real pressure is doo doo, it's probably time to replace that high pressure fuel pump. If you want more information on those codes, I have another video I'll link to this one. But pretty much, if your real pressure is around 1500 or below under wide open throttle, it's not good. It should be 2500 to 3000 psi, all right? We weren't getting that, so here we are replacing this high pressure fuel pump. So let's get started. Our first step is to remove this fuse. And then we're gonna come crank the car to release all the fuel pressure from the rail. Go ahead and do that a few times. Keep on going. A few more times, one or two more times. Give it a little gas. All right, and that should be good enough. What we're gonna do next is remove the cowl, the engine cover, which is already off, your intakes, and your charge pipe, all right? All calls are gonna be different depending on what charge pipe you have, whether it's factory or not. But go ahead and do that. terminal just because the lines are kind of close to the starter we don't want any shorts to happen obviously spark and fuel it's gonna cause bang so we are now gonna take off the four throttle body bolts and there's also a little hose right here you can move over a little more on the camera to take that off all you gotta do is pinch the two tabs and pull back just like that to take that off and just remove those four bolts and I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. This connector for the throttle body, easy, simple enough, squeeze, haha, <laughs> said that too soon. But you should just be able to squeeze this tab and pull back. Then check that. Our throttle body is out. Try not to mess with this valve. You want to mess with the cal calibrations or anything. Let's put it off to the side. And now we pretty much have access to the high pressure fuel pump. Now, do you see this box right here? This is usually on these tabs, all right? These two tabs right there uh, attached to the intake manifold or cylinder head. I forgot which one. It's usually slid on there. And all you have to do is kind of take a screwdriver and pry, pry out to release this box and give it some free motion. Uh, obviously, someone's already been here before and left it off, so that's done. And I'm going to make another disclaimer. I have seen people just do the high-pressure fuel pump job without taking the intake manifold off, okay? So if you want to work like that, that's fine. To make this video easier for me to make, and also I want to check out these intake valves, I'm going to take off the intake manifold. Uh, there's other videos of that if you want to watch that, but I'm not going to include that here, okay? I'm just going to remove this and we're going to go ahead and go on to the high pressure fuel pump. Got the intake manifold off. The link for that video will be somewhere here. We're going to take this uh, 11 millimeter off that's attached to the hard line going to the fuel rail. And then the two line nuts on the high pressure fuel pump are 17 millimeters. Where did I put that wrench at? Oh, right here. All right, so this one right here, we're gonna crack it loose. It's nice to have a rag somewhere close just so it could absorb some of the fuel. And again, please make sure your battery's disconnected. So lefty loosey. All right. And if you come over here, that should be good enough for now. If you come over here, right over here, you have your low pressure uh, fuel sensor. Don't think we have to disconnect that, but you do want to disconnect the high pressure fuel pump connector. There's a push clip right here on the other side of this connector. It's the same type of push clip, so you're going to squeeze both. And 
wiggle out like that. So one side over there, one side over there. Pops right off, and then can you bring the camera right there? Your second uh, line nut is right over there. That's coming from the low pressure fuel pump. Again, 17 millimeter. So we're gonna pop that loose. Lefty Lucy. And uh, you don't have to remove them all the way. You just gotta make sure they're loose before we start unbolting the high pressure fuel pump. All right. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna remove the three uh, hex bolts. They're the Allen bolts that are holding the high pressure fuel pump in, all right? There's one over there, one over there, and one on the bottom right over there. This nice little Allen wrench, uh, five millimeter in size, won't focus, but you get the gist of it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide in like that. Get it in all the way. And to get torque on that, I'm gonna take a quarter inch extension with some kind of socket on there, slide over the end and use that for leverage. Yeah, I gotta actually change the angle on this. Just rotate it like that. Now if you wanna come over here, so they can see that. It's sticking out over there. Put my ratchet over there and just hear that snap. It's that easy, okay? Once it snaps, you can spin it off with your hand, whatever. I'm gonna snap all three of them. Number two snapped and then number three is down over here and I love this trick I use this trick all the time it's much easier than trying to get a five millimeter socket down there three all of them snapped and then go ahead and just remove those by your hand or using this allen wrench whatever you want to do okay it's pretty straightforward all right I got those three loose I'm just gonna finish removing uh, this line and then this line right here <laughs> To get these bolts out quickly all you got to do is Take your finger and Just kind of spin them like that pinch them and spin. It's much quicker than trying to use the Allen socket I always say get the hard ones out first. So I'm gonna get the bottom two out first, then I get the top one out last. All right, got those three out. Push back a little bit. Make sure this lines off. And voila, that line's off. It's gonna pull right out. You are gonna lose a little bit of oil. So, so again, have a rag in handy. And so our high pressure fuel pump is out just like that. Now this one does look like it's been replaced before. That doesn't look like the factory ring on there. So, I mean, they commonly go bad. So we'll see what's up. Let's put the new one on and go from there. We're looking at these two and honestly, this one kind of looks like one off eBay. That label is a sticker, that green gasket. I know my friend who's used the eBay HPSC before had a green gasket on there. This OEM one has actual uh, engravings on there. So I don't know. What do you think? Is this an eBay one? Put it in the comments. Let me know what you think. Some weird stampings on this. But anyways, that's how the inside of the little vacuum case looks. So you just got to line up your new high pressure fuel pump similarly to that approximately right over there make sure you got a good seal on there uh, i'm gonna reuse a stock one because i don't trust that green one now that i think there's an ebay pump that was on here okay and then we're just gonna simply reverse the procedures line this back up there you go that's on put the three bolts back in Put the lines back in and etc everything you know then we put that bolt back in we pretty much reverse the steps so let's get to it i just got these hand tightened we're going to keep it loose because we have to line up this line first so let's get this line on make sure it's going on straight 
There she goes. You won't be able to get that line on if you tighten that up. Ask me how I know. Then we'll get the second line on the bottom right here. This one has a decent amount of play, so it shouldn't be too hard to line up. Let's make sure it's going on straight. You don't want to cross thread this stuff. There you go. It's going on freely. All right, that's good. That's hand tightened. I'm just gonna leave them like that. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these up and then we're gonna come back and snug these. All right, tightening up the last bolt here. Uh, I don't have a torque spec on this, just make it really snug. Obviously it's under high pressure and high load, so snug it up. Other two are already tight. We're gonna come and do a final snug up on our lines. Again, with these, you don't have to go super, super man on them, just snug. So once it gets super tight, maybe just like an eighth of a turn. That's good. Down here, same thing. Also shameless plug. If you're installing a Helix, I have a video. I'll also link that over here. <laughs> so let's just snug, just eighth of a turn, and that's it. All right, let's put our, put our connector back on. Right over here, I think it only goes on one way. Yep, it will only go on one way. So this open side right there is gonna be facing to top. Snap in place. Put that bolt back on and the high pressure fuel pump is installed. Reverse all the procedures. Start your car, put your fuse back on. Let's, let's get it going. <laughs> Fuse is back in, battery's connected. We're leaving the cowl and the engine cover off just to see if there's any problems. Go in and try starting the car. There it is. All right, that's all she wrote. We're gonna go take some logs now. Let me turn it off. We're gonna take some logs. Let's see if it worked out. Um, that's pretty much the end of the video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, as always, put them in the comment box below. Again, I would rate this job about a 3.5 out of 10. It's fairly easy. Here it is, you know, straightforward, basic tools. So thanks for watching. Until next time, peace.